Welcome back guys to episode 34, 34 of Red Cube Survival's Multiplayer Minecraft Go. Um, I'm back at the barn as usual and um, this is recorded straight after the last episode so I don't really have a chance to go anywhere. Not that they have anywhere else to go, the barn is the only building within miles of this place. Uh, that's a lie actually because Jake's house, I think you can see it from here. Uh, if I just hop up here. No, well anyway, Jake's house is literally just there. Um, but anyway, I'm at the barn, like I said. Um, and there's a couple of things, well there's one thing I can remember that um, I didn't mention in last week's update, last week's last time's update video. I don't have a schedule, I don't know if I upload weekly or not. I think I do. Um, but anyway, there's a couple of things I forgot to mention. And one of them is that I am... Hmm, I'm no longer using, I was going to say I'm never going back to the tree, but I guess I might eventually. Um, but I'm, I've am i moved out. I, the resources there that are there now, um, well, there's not really many resources left, but they're not mine anymore. Well, I guess they are mine, but I'm not going to use them. They're still mine, people, don't raid it. <laughs> they're my resources, don't raid it. So, um, but I'm not, I'm not going to use them. Anything I get from now on, I want to start mining again, because at the moment I don't need to mine, and I miss mining. I love mining, it's just like a thing you can do for a couple of hours. Um, so the, these resources that you see here, these are my only resources at the moment. Um, this is all I have. I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna go back to the other tree to get resources until I move, if I move back there. Um, but this is all I have at the moment. So there's not much stuff. I just wanted to let you know that I'm kind of, I live here now. Um, so any resources I get, because at the moment I've just been going back and forth. Like if I need wood, I just go back to the tree, grab a stack of wood. Um, but from now on, if I need wood, I have to go out to the trees and mine a stack of wood. Um, there's some, you can see this dirt here. This is temporary dirt. Don't worry. Uh, it's because today we're going to tackle the redstone that I promised we would in the last episode. Um, now you may notice that I've got these what generic be called sissy bars here, which means that the mobs can't get in. Um, but it's a bright hassle. And obviously I'm not I'm not going to put doors on the barn because it would look a bit. Oh no, I trampled it. Uh, if I put doors on the barn, it would look a bit weird and it wouldn't look um, it wouldn't look right basically. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have something that allows me to there's going to be like a pressure plate here I walk up, it's going to lower my sissy bar I walk in and then it's going to close it behind me um, so yeah, this is pretty challenging I've had to use some of my own little redstone intuition, um, I'm using Etho's hopper clock I think it's his and I'm using, no I'm using Codecrafter's hopper clock um, yeah, Codecrafter's hopper clock and Oh, I can't remember who's um, double piston extender design I'm using. I'm using somebody that uh, might be co-crafted as, w as well. So, yeah, um, that's where I got these from. Uh, I've made a pit here. This is where it's going to be. It's quite big. Well, no, it's not. That's not actually quite this big. Um, there's a zombie around here somewhere. I can hear him. But anyway, let me just fill these holes in. I've got, I think I've got all the resources that I'm going to need to build it. Um, so basically what's going to happen, there's going to be like a pressure plate around here somewhere and I'm going to run over and then it's going to lower this and then it's going to come over here and then it's going to extend it up again. Unfortunately I couldn't find a design where, well I couldn't find a small design that I could probably build where the pistons then retract and leave just the bars there. So unfortunately you have to see the pistons but I don't, I don't mind that. I don't really mind that at all. Um, I'm going to try and do this like a proper redstoner. I'm going to use put all my redstone on yellow wool just because it's a resource that I, that I had in my inventory at the time. Um, yeah. So, let's give it a go. Hang on, my dad's just calling me from downstairs. Okay, let's get this thing. Let's give it a go, shall we? Uh, let's try our best. Um, I'm doing this out of memory. So, if I have to bluff up or anything, then I apologize greatly. Um, but my memory isn't that great. And I'm just not not good at redstone really and uh, that goes like that and we have that I think and then this that, that. this is just gonna be a bunch of um, this and then like this and then that and then this and then that goes on to two and that goes on to two and then I do the same pattern here That. Let's jump up here, and then this is what I think this is what keeps the piston open. Because then 
we have just in here, just in here, and then finally, oh, um, oh, how are we going to turn this off now? I know, I know, because I'm a redstone genius. And like this. That shut it down. I didn't turn these off though, but I was hoping it would. Nah, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think then it goes like this. And then like that. Oh, I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, I need a pick. Side here, I can jump that, and then it would have. Okay, well, it extends properly. No, it doesn't. Damn, bum. You know what I've done? I've done something wrong here. I think I've built this too low down. Hold on, hold on. Just give me a minute. Well, okay then. Take two. Can't believe I messed that up. Built it one block too low. Um, now I probably can't even remember how it goes again. See, that goes like that. Then, like this. On this side as well. I had done something wrong as well. Um, I had put these red redstone torches here. I had done the exact same thing on this side, which kind of broke everything. Which is why, um, when I powered it, it wasn't like going down. So anyway, I'm going to place both the pistons. Both the pistons. Pop back in. Let's see what we got now. Now we got this. Um, oh, bum. What? what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There you go. Like that. Now I just do the same on the other side. Wait. Oh, the dog's barking. Ugh, I knew there was something I was forgetting. I forgot the repeaters that go in here. Uh, there and there. Did I place one somehow then? No, okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then, oh, missed it. So annoying trying to climb around in here. Uh, like this, one, one. I think it was just one. No, it was not one, it was two. Here we go. And then this goes into this. There we go, we've got it now. I remember. And that. Like that, there we go. Now they're retracted, and then, yeah, let's just clear this extra wool out of the way. Oh, I changed the wool texture as well from back when I changed the texture packs around in the iron. Um, I still haven't done anything about that yet. I'll I'll get onto it. Don't worry. Do this. Let's just place the redstone block there. Test everything. Is that doubly extended? Well, it has doubly extended, but is it in the right place? That is the question. Yay! Look at this. And then it's what we'd have then is. Let me just go grab. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll just do it for wool, with wool for now. We'll just have like a barrier like this and pressure plates here, which I will I'll do in a minute. We'd run up, then that would retract, um, like so. Let me just get back in there, break out this redstone block. Everything retracts down. We go back up again. Ta da! And we can run through, and then after a certain period of time, it will close behind us. Ah, oh, look at me going! Look at me go! I'm a little redstone genius. That looks amazing, by the way. Just how it all looks. It's stackable as well, so I could keep it going forever, but I'm, I only want the middle two. Um, next, now, well, next now. Now is where it gets a little bit complicated, because this is where I had to try and like mix and match circuits together. Uh, let's have a little bit of a snack to reward ourselves for a job well done. So, where do we want the pressure plates to be? Around here, maybe? Let's have a look. Let's go up top. We'll have a better view. Um, we need to sleep as well, because last night well last night in game uh, a horde of zombies started trying to t oh, I'm not going to be able to sleep there now am I that's right he's feeding my thorns I wonder if we can kill him just with thorns come on 
is doing all hell to my armor, but yeah, didn't even have to lay a punch on him, like Gandhi. No, <laughs> it was nothing like Gandhi. Okay, so let's get some pressure plates. Uh, we should have some stone. Uh, it's only two for a pressure plate now, isn't it? Bam! Yeah, it is. Okay. Whoa, the mafia! That was the uh, deceased farmer there. So let's bring it. Hmm. There. That seems good. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna dig a hole next to it so we know where it is. Okay, there we go. Now what you're about to see, this is purely Dave wiring. So don't expect anything great here. Uh, so you went like this. Let's get rid of this. Don't want to use up any excess wool. Let's get rid of this. Actually you know what? You know what a real redstone would do? He used different color wool for the different circuits, which is what we're gonna do because we're proper red stoners. And uh, like this, and then um, and to somehow oh wait, you can do this, can't you? That puts redstone. There you go. Okay, so we gotta put. Redstone there, redstone there. Could be that white, yellow. Uh, Liam's online. I <sighs> have to run downstairs to get the door then. Uh, it's my grandparents have come around to say hello. Uh, now, so what we got to do here, if I remember correctly, is is what I was struggling to do is because I've got to try and because I'm mashing up different circuits together. I've got to try and use these pressure plates to power not only this. But also the the hopper clock thing that we've got going here, and to do that, I had to try and get the wiring to come all the way down, and this was the way I figured out how to do it. I think it's pretty ingenious. Sorry, I'm really out of breath. Oh, I just had to run all over the house trying to get the dog, and then answer the door. Oh, I need a cup of tea. Hang on. Oh, that's that hits the spot. And then this will then power the redstone that goes this way, and then into the hopper clock which I don't know how to build I'm going to have to look up how I built it um, but yeah that's my circuit there, this little red <laughs> it looks pathetic doesn't it that's my circuit, this little red thing here yay, uh, now we need a new colour of wool let's see which colours we've got I'll be back with my uh, selected colour of choice because I've got to look at the hopper clock as well because I can't remember how to build that Oh no, Liam records. Liam, Liam records. Liam falls right as I. Uh... Liam falls right as I start recording. Um, okay, now this hopper clock. I wish it was my invention. Liam, such language. But unfortunately, it's not. As if I could ever invent something as good as this. Um, like I said, it's like co-crafted design, but it's based off Ethos design. From what I remember, um, is that right? Yeah, it's got to be right. Uh, let me get our hoppers. Actually, we're gonna have to destroy that for a second. Hoppers are really awkward to place, from what I remember, because we need these two to go into each other so they feed into each other. So that's how we get the countdown effect. Let's place that back, and then we need to grab our two comparators, comparators, whatever you want to call them. Our wool to dictate what circuit this is. Uh, I think redstone goes there. Uh, I'm just going to double check that quickly. Yeah, redstone goes there. Of course, I can't be actually wait there. Got to do this properly, haven't we? There we go. There we go. Now, for some reason, I'm going to spend an age trying to make this look all pretty down here as well. I can just feel it. I don't need anything underneath there. Okay, that's good. So that there is the, from what I remember, that's the basis of the hopper clock. Uh, all we gotta do is just power it somehow. Uh, if I grab, we ideally need a button. There we go, we use a wooden one. Uh, and we put in, say, one, two, three. Three pieces of cobblestone into there. 
It's going to count for three, and then it's going to go back for three. And the three end up back in here. If I watch this copper clock, they go out, and then they come back in. So that's pretty cool, I think. Uh, I think I went for eight in the end. I think eight was a good time. Yeah, that's good. It might be a bit too long. might not be. I don't know. But anyway, let's get rid of that. And then, so what we needed then was our redstone to come this way. Now, for some reason, I used a repeater here, but I'm not sure if it's needed. I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, wait. I think it is needed. Might be needed. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I think that's needed. I'm just going to leave it there. It's no really low loss to me. Um, yeah, this isn't going to be efficient, by the way, guys. Not in the slightest. Let's do that. And then we have... Oops. This. And the reason I've got this hopper clock here as well, you think, why don't you just have it so I run over the pressure plate and it brings it down? It's because the pressure plate would never hold the signal long enough for this to come down because yeah, this just takes this takes like a good amount or a decent amount of time to like lower itself and then um, go back up again so the reason I've had to make the hopper clock is to extend the amount of time that it stays powered for because you have to power this for it to come go up and down and give it yabba all kinds of stuff and um, this needs to be inverted as well at some point uh, and this is here this redstone repeat is here to stop this wire which comes down here. Stop! It stops this wire from re-entering this circuit here because that would break it. I think. I can't remember if I needed to put a redstone block there. But look at that! I don't. I just need to put one of them there. Uh, and then we bring this. Bring this. Oh well, yeah. I need to destroy this. Bring this all the way down with us until we get to here, where we then invert it. I'm out of. I think this is where we invert it. Yeah, there we go. Invert it there. A piece of redstone. That should mean it. Yeah, it's powered now. And then finally. Wait, that, that's a repeater there. Okay, so it turns out that this bit here is actually a repeater. Oh wow, what's just happened there? Liam. Well, at least we know it works. Uh, I'm going to test it out for myself, even though Liam's just proven it works. So, so what we'd do is we'd be running, we'd come over here, and we're in. I might need to shorten the amount of time that... Such an idiot. Run, Liam, run. Look at him running to water. Let's try and hit with my bow as well. Um, guys, I just have a little worry. Um, and I need to let you're gonna need to tell me how the sound, my voice sounds. Does it sound normal in this? Um, because I've had to change headphones. Well, they're not even headphones anymore. They're the iPhone earphone things you get, the Apple earphone things you get. Because my headphones. If you may remember, the earphone had broken and it was kind of dangling. Well, now it's completely snapped. The good one, the good, the only one that worked, completely snapped. Uh, so I've got no headphones at the moment. So unfortunately, where did that come from? Is that him? So unfortunately, like I said, at the moment, I have to um, use my iPhone earphones and. I'm not sure if it's just the sound quality through the headphones that sounds completely rubbish, or if that's how I normally sound. Maybe I'm just finally getting the truth. Uh, so I'm going to need you guys to tell me if this sounds normal, if it sounds any good. Because if it doesn't, then I need to sort something out. Um, I'm going to probably look at this uh, redstone circuit again and adjust how long it's going for. Because uh, it's a little bit long, if you think about it. I don't want the zombies to be able to follow me in. I want it ju open just long enough so that when I run over, I just have enough time to get in before it shuts. And of course, I've got to, I've just realized, I have no way of getting out once I'm in. Uh, I'm going to have to try and find a way to get um, something from over here to power it. But anyway, let's just take half of these out. And yeah, I'm probably going to leave it here. Uh, I'll think around with this some more. 
still might be a bit long. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to tinker around with this kind of thing a bit more. Um, I don't know what we're going to do next episode. We might start building another building. I've wanted to build um, a toilet, an outhouse. Um, but when you flush the chain, it takes you to my secret lair. Which I've just completely given away. Why did I do that? That's just stupid of me. I've got to build this on this side as well. Oh, bang. Coming in. Um, but like I said, guys, let me know. Please, I, I need feedback. I need feedback on um, the sound quality and stuff. Because I'm a bit paranoid right now. And yeah, anyway. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Well, isn't this just perfect? I was down here making some nice little adjustments and a creeper walks in and blows it up. I want to do it all again. Well, not all of it. I've got to do some of it again. Uh, it was only my little circuit that broke and a little bit of this one here. But we should be good. We should be good. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Bye again. <laughs>